Hello, ladies, gentlemen, other celestial beings, and of course, good morning, Baby Yoda. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Island Hopper Challenges. I did them the hard way, so y'all can do them the easy way. Let's jump into it. <laughs> okay, guys and gals, for this quest, we have six challenges to complete. We're going to run through them from top to bottom, and it, that's the order I did them in. So I'm going to give you all little helpful tips and tricks that I thought really would make it go a lot faster for you guys versus my two and a half hours of excruciating, not knowing what in the world I'm doing. So starting with, the first one is in the ultimate murder mystery. Collect 50 coins or get five melee eliminations in the ultimate murder mystery. For me, I found it easier to get the five melee eliminations. You're going to jump in and you're either going to want to be the hunter or the sheriff. Um, if you're the hunter, just run around, smack as many people as you can. You're trying to get three, five of them, excuse me, and get out. You can also do this as the sheriff, but if you shoot someone that is an innocent, the game is over. So always try to aim for the person who is actually being hunted. And... Um, your gunshot will be counted as a melee kill also. Um, the next one up is collect resources in PvE one trigger. <sighs> Y'all, this was probably one of the most excruciating, time-consuming things for me to do. It, in all due reality, it should take about 45 to 55 minutes. But you're going to load in on a, a wooden square that you have to hit repeatedly a resource square until you get 3,000 um it was a lot a whole lot of a lot the fastest way to complete this is probably with a squad I did it in solos but what you're going to want to do is just go at this square I mean just that's all you do but be aware that you are going to want to build out around you because at points there are going to be things that come out of the square that can actually hurt you, like zombies, wolves, boar, velociraptors. Um, and then there's also going to be chests that spawn there that give you guns. So you can kill the things that are trying to hurt you. And the next one is prop hunt. Prop hunt will take about 30 to 35 minutes if you do it right. Um, it's eliminate prop opponents in prop hunt. You got to do it to three of them. So you're going to want to be a hunter. If you're Most of the time you're going to load in as a prop. If you do, just stand in the center until the hunters come out. Let them eliminate you. And then run around and eliminate all your prop friends that you just saw what they hit as. You just got to get three. Once you get three, go ahead and back out. The next up is the color dash. I found this game mode to be really fun. A lot more than I had expected would be going on. It will take about 30 minutes. Um, your whole goal is to unlock four different achievements. So how I personally did it. Um, I played one game. I fell off the second tile. Big shocker. That unlocked one achievement because I made it past the first tile. Then I went into the box wars. The fishing and what was the other one? Oh, concert. You can dance in a concert, and all three of those will unlock a. Achievement for you in this game mode. So you have your four achievements. Go ahead and back out. Now, the one that I was super bad at, the parkour course. If you're like me and you run around like a bot 90% of the time, then this will probably be the fastest and most efficient way for you to complete this challenge. It will take about 30 to 50 minutes, depending on how good you are at uh, parkour courses. But go into the Autumn Island, I believe it's called. It's the easiest course to do. Complete it one time. By completing it one time, you unlock an achievement. Go back into the Autumn course and halfway through there is this diamond in a cabin go jump up there grab the diamond congrats you have just unlocked another achievement for your third and final achievement you are going to want to go to the 
Island Parkour Course right next to it. I don't recall the name. Um, but it's a water park themed course. And there is a lot of jump pads. So just be aware. I know a lot of people have problems with jump flat pads. All right. The last, the last one is use vending machines in Blimp Wars. Let me tell you guys, a Blimp Wars has a lot of things going on with it. It'll take about 30 minutes to complete. You're going to want to get 80 coins to get the cheapest vending machine, which is 10 coins, to complete this eight times. Um, each elimination is five coins. So what I did, because there was not a lot of people in my game on the opposing side, I just eliminated the Star Wars guards that kept popping up in the corner. Yeah, it was a little time consuming. Um, I did get sniped a couple times from the few opponents that were over there because I was standing still. No way. But to me, this is the fastest way to just get in and get out. Uh, there's two ways to get to the vending machines if you've not been eliminated yet. Use the, there's a little levitating bridge that slides between the main game area to the vending machines, but make sure you go to your side vending machines. If not, you will be red hot in opponent's territory, but hey, that may be your thing. Or if you did what I did and accidentally jump off the map, <laughs> you will respawn over there in the vending machine area. That way you can buy heals among other things, but what I found to be the cheapest are the 10... 10 coin vending machines that have med mist sprays and shield kegs. So now that you went through all these challenges, I bet you're wondering what you're going to get. Like, what are my rewards? Well, I'm about to tell you. The, if you complete one of these challenges, and just one singular one, you will get two rewards. The first being the Raven spray and the second being a GG emote. If you complete three of these challenges, you will receive an infrared wrap and a ravage spray. And if you complete all six, you get these really cool um, wings and um, what are they called? Pickaxes. The wings are called the Dark Wings Back Bling and the pickaxe is called the Tropics Beak Back uh, Pickaxe. Oh yeah, super cool. If y'all found this video helpful in any way, drop a like, share, comment, and we'll catch you next time. Okay, bye!